good? You want it a little more centered? No, that's good. I've only gone about five miles from here, so. All right. Hi, this is Rex at Harmony Hollow. The customer requested to purchase 20 hives, so I was providing hives in the form of nukes, the wooden ware, and hive stands. Here are the cinder blocks used as the hive stands along with the landscape timbers. The day I went to set everything up, the field was way too muddy. A uh, truck would have gotten stuck. It was about a half mile to three quarters of a mile trip through the field. And uh, so I had to wait and stage these at a different farm while uh, waiting for the ground to dry out. Each hive stand at this field will have four bottom boards, four hive bodies, and four migratory lids. I'm simply throwing the equipment off the side of the truck pretty close to the hive stands so that I can set them all up in a few minutes. Here I am laying out the bottom boards, setting the hive bodies on each one, and finally putting the lid on. This is a few days before I bring the bees out. it was recording, hell, I don't know.
today's work is finished and it's time to head home. Because we transport bees at night time, I prepped the hives the night before by smoking the bees into the hive, closing the entrance, and then putting the hives onto the truck. Early the next morning, I drove to the field before sunup. You can see the sun brightening the boxes in the foreground there. I'm simply taking them off the truck, putting them in place, where their hive is going to be and enjoying the sunrise. Once the hives are in place, I go ahead and put on my suit and then go to each hive and open its entrance. That way the bees can go ahead and start orienting to the space that they're going to be in, even though they're going to be changing boxes in a few minutes. I like to go ahead and let them have a chance to make cleansing flights and to cool off if, uh, if it's hot outside. Overnight, our low temperature was down into the 90s so it was still hot i was afraid they had overheated so turns out they were fine opened it up and uh, all the bees were just perfect These double nukes are heavy. I had to stand up on the trailer hitch in order to lift it up over the bed rails of the flatbed truck.
Now that all the nukes are in place, I've got the entrances open and the bees are starting their orientation flights. Next step of operation will be to get the nukes transferred into their permanent homes. Each of the permanent hives holds 10 frames. So the five frame nukes will be adding five new frames with foundation. And then the 10 frame nukes that are two boxes tall will just go straight into their permanent home without any new frames having to be added. Although it seems that there's a lot of sped up video here, this process really went pretty quickly. I would say probably no more than uh, seven to eight minutes per hive, if that. We just had to put the foundation in the frames, put the blank frames in, minus one, and then move the frames of brood. Right, my battery died earlier, so I got it on the charger in the truck for a little while. Um, I was in the middle of getting Nukes moved over to full-size boxes and the battery died, so not sure when it did, but it did. Uh, I've got all the five-frame nukes and ten-frame nukes, uh, there were some doubles on top of each other, moved over to these full-size hive bodies. They're going to spend today orienting and uh, finding food sources nearby. We've got a nice stand of woods back behind. Uh, with the woods, there's usually a creek running through there since it's not developed. It's a watershed area. And then, uh, let's hope they do well. Alright, let's get back and prepped for the next seven that are coming out. we got 13 today, seven more to go. So. Y'all have a great day. I sure am.